Nice, so I got requests on explaining electrical connection of this cell, but I do not really have much time, so I will do this without any editing and really, really quick. So, I do not have one cell completed yet, so first I was thinking about using a mirror <laughs> and hopefully you won't see the difference, but that was a really stupid idea. Okay, but... Okay, so as a power supply I use mains voltage. So this is going directly here. This is rectifier, full bridge. Here is spare number if you want to have that. And from there, one end goes to end of one module and the, let's say this, because it's shorter, and this one will go here and it's soldered directly here. Basically I have cell like this and, and, and I can, I can solder directly on that like this. It takes some time, but it works. You must use some special treatment to stainless steel. That's some magical water that will allow tin to wet the stainless and Well, it looks some, somehow or somewhat like this. This is made in Czech, so we'll pr probably get something different. And this is for Nico, but I'm just saying, some water, you do this, and then, and then solder directly onto that, and then we'll let the stainless steel. But, okay, so let me get this out of there. I think that it didn't stick very well, so I will loosen this by force. And, okay, so you got basically this wire connected here, this here. You prob probably want to clamp it somewhere and polarity doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, quick and dirty setups. Jesus. Okay, but you get the idea. Okay, so from here, there to one end, and basically, as I'm as I'm working on 240 volts, I want to maintain voltage of one of two volts between each plate. So I have 120 plates, more or less. So I will connect this side. To this side. Basically the last cell plates will be connected together. So the current may flow from here through here and there will be wires. So basically this is how it's connected. Also you don't really want to make water connection directly from here to there like this because then this water will be conductive and will be shorted effectively. So this part will be heated quite a lot. So I'm basically making this and from there it will be long holes to the to the main water reservoir and therefore the water resistance will be quite high and this side you may connect but because it's same voltage basically so it doesn't matter that much. Also you may want to use triarc. Basically in that case you you will cut these wires off and connect this in series like like this. This was sitting somewhere outside so it's quite rusty. But yeah. So you cut this section 
and connect this in series. Well, this is some home, home, homemade regulator. I found schematic somewhere on the internet, so I may post you that as well. But documentation maybe will, will be in check, so I don't know. And yeah, also I, I basically often have an amp meter connected here, so I connect this in series also, and that's only for monitoring current, so I know what current I am using. Basically, it's current. If, to, if current is too high, you want to lower, you want to lower the concentration of your of your water or of your solution of sodium hydroxide or whatever hydroxide you are using, or whatever, whatever whatever salt you are using, basically, so... Um, maybe if I draw a picture, that would be much easier, wouldn't it? Well... Anyway, if you got any questions, please ask me. I am going to do video, proper video, somewhere in the future, when I will tinker with it and basically the water gets quite hot, so I think that the capacitor here may be a good idea or whatever. And that's all for now.